What's up guys, today's been a big day. Apple unveiled their new iPad 2 along with some other uh, cool little stuff behind the scenes. But right now we're going to focus on the iPad 2. Now, if you go to the Apple.com website, you'll see that they already had the headlines, iPad 2, thinner, lighter, faster, FaceTime, smart covers, and a 10 hour battery. Now I'll tell you what's different from the first generation iPad. Now of course today, you know, they talked about the stats first and how Honeycomb and they pretty much talk about all the other companies saying the 2010 uh, year of the copycats when it's a uh, year of the iPad. So it was pretty funny. They pretty much pretty much mocked the other companies. And so they go on to reveal the iPad 2. Now, one of the major key functions of the iPad 2 that's been long rumored is the camera. And uh, right now, they've, from what the first generation iPad up to the iPad second generation, they pretty much gave it a dual core A5 chip processor, two times fast, of course, dual core. I believe it's a 1.2 gigahertz, or if it's uh, scaled down to a 1 gigahertz processor. And uh, the graphics has been uh, nine times faster. That's pretty good for games just as uh, Infinity Blade, which does you know pretty good on the iPad and pretty much thinking nine times faster. That's pretty amazing. And the battery life has been the same since the first generation iPad. Now, one of the big features is the cameras on the iPad. They pretty much had this rumor months before, but now it's been confirmed. It does have a back camera and a front-facing camera for FaceTime. And yes, it does work for for the other iPad that has a camera, the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 4. So that's pretty neat. And they pretty much uh, showed off some new accessories, which I thought was pretty cool. Mainly one of them is the uh, covers, as they call it, smart covers. Now, if you remember, last year they unveiled a iPad cover, no, no, an iPad case, which was, you know, pretty good. I liked it. Most people enjoyed it. But now they took that to a new step. It's pretty much not a case anymore. It's, like they say, a cover. And it pretty much, using magnets, connects to the iPad and you can pretty much do all sorts of things with it. Now what's very cool about it is that when it's over the iPad it closes so when you open it like a book it pretty much turns it back on from sleep mode and you can pretty much position all you want to a uh, slanted keyboard and all that stuff which is actually pretty cool. Now, As you can already tell there's already pictures of a white iPad and yes there's already a, two versions right now. The black iPad second generation and the white iPad second generation and as for Wi-Fi and 3G they didn't state when it's gonna be released but it's speculated it's gonna release with the Wi-Fi only model and so right now we're looking at the f uh, other features which I just stated below FaceTime and now photo booth which is pretty much a uh, you know a separate camera but you can you know take pictures of but on Facebook or MySpace if you're still on MySpace and uh, you know put effects you know anything you want add some silly stuff onto it and other built-in iOS apps like Mail, Safari, iBooks videos, photos, find my iPad you get the point. On the media event they talked about how the iPad already has 65,000 apps ready so that's pretty good considering the iPad 2 doesn't really had that big of a much of an upgrade like a double screen retina display or whatever you call it guys but uh, that's pretty good. It's already there, locked and ready to begin on the iPad 2. Unlike the other competitors where they're, like Honeycomb only has 100, which they mocked. And here are the technicals, you know, specs for the iPad 2, pretty much same type of uh, outlet design, as I can say it. On the back, you can see the difference, the speakers. I believe it's like small little holes. I can't really tell considering uh, there's no zoom in function, but uh, it's a lot smaller now. Possibly a s smaller even than the iPhone 4, which I'll show you in, when I get the iPad. And um, the camera, volume buttons up and down, the silent or the lock orientation button, the sleep and wake button, and of course they show you the Wi Fi, Wi Fi 3G models, which one difference of the between them two. Same storage, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, and 64 gig gigabyte, which is a uh, kind of a downer because most people expect you know the 32 gigabyte should be the lowest format because you know iPad 2 might be taken in you know, HD movies or whatnot for AirPlay. 
wireless and cellular, cellular specs. Of course, you get your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the Wi-Fi 3G model. You don't need me to explain that part. Carriers, they only stay AT&T and Verizon. Of course, there's no LTE, which is, uh, some people might say it's a downer, but considering that LTE just came out, I believe Apple should, you know, is pretty bright on the idea that they should wait another year until LTE is pretty much spread out a little more onto much more cities and towns and you know what. Display, 9.7 inch. The chip, like I said earlier, oh, now it's a 1 gigahertz dual core. A5 uh, custom design, high performance, low power system on a chip. Power battery the same as the iPad first generation and so on. Now we're going to talk about the other accessory that wasn't mentioned on the accessory page. It's called the Apple Digital AV Adapter. Now what this does, it lets you display your iPad 2 onto the your screen, which is up to 1080p support. Now what's great about this is that it lets you, you know, display it and it lets you charge your iPad 2 on the same time, which is actually pretty amazing. You know, play on your iPad 2, play your Infinity Blade on your TV screen. It's pretty amazing. Uh, this also works for the iPad. This also works for the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 4. So that's pretty cool. And I believe it's only $39.99. Uh, there's no details yet, but I'll expect to get that. And all the other accessories that was before on the iPod. And they also say all the other accessories that was on the first generation iPad, like the iPad camera connection kit, the iPad 2 dock, a wireless keyboard, and etc. As for prices, they're all the same. Uh, four ninety nine for the sixteen gigabyte, five ninety nine for the thirty two gigabyte, and six ninety nine for the sixty four gigabyte. And I believe the same prices for the Wi Fi Plus three G model with a one hundred and twenty nine dollar increase. But uh, that's about it, guys. That's all I can say right now it's for the iPad two. Now we're gonna move on to the iOS four point three. Now what's gonna bring in the iOS four point three is personal hotspot, which is only available for the iPhone four. They did say it's going to be available for the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 GSM model, which is basically the iPhone for the AT&T model. They didn't say anything for the Verizon model, but uh, hopefully they can clear that up in the, in the upcoming uh, weeks. This also is supported on the iPod Touch 3rd generation and the iPod Touch 4th generation. Now it's set to come out on March 11th, the same day the iPad 2 is about to come out, but uh, that's all they have for now. And also with the iPad 2 launch, they also reduced the prices for their first generation iPad by $100. So now the 16 gigabyte first generation iPad is only $400. And also in the media event, they also talked about iMovie and GarageBand. I'm not really into GarageBand, so I pretty much gonna say that you know you can play your own instruments, piano, drums, and all that. It's pretty revolutionary. You can do that on only one little tablet. And they talked about iMovie. Which is pretty interesting because then you can, it's pretty much like a, you know, iMovie from your iPhone 4 ported onto the iPad. Now, they didn't say whether if you already bought the iMovie for your iPhone 4 is compatible with the iPad, but uh, right now, both iMovie and GarageBand are only $4.99. So, I'll try to see if, you know, iMovie is still compatible with the new iPad 2 that's coming out, so that way you don't have to pay another 5 bucks for an application you already have on your iPhone 4. But uh, that's about it, guys. That's all I can think of right now, and um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I will be getting the iPad 2, hopefully on the launch day. If not, maybe uh, a few days after. I'm only, like, down $100, but I should get that by tomorrow, thanks to being a partner. But uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section, and please rate, comment, subscribe. So tell me guys if you're going to get the iPad 2 or you're going to skip onto the iPad 3rd generation. So I guess that's it and I'll see you guys later. Catch you later.